Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie. So let's go through arriving at the Cancun airport. So this is the view from the right side of the plane. Once you land, it may take a little while to get to your gate and then you'll head down the jet bridge just like you would at any other airport. You're gonna look for signs to passport control and baggage claim. We were lucky and got the spot right next to the escalators. So if you go straight past the escalators, that's where the elevator is located. Otherwise, you're gonna head down the escalators to immigration and passport control. There are no longer any papers required. It is all electronic. Now, the general lines are going to be right in front of you, but if you meet a set of requirements that I'm going to show you in just a second, I want you to head all the way to the left. So if you're staying less than 180 days, you have a USA, Canadian, or Mexican passport. You're over 18 years old. If you're traveling to Mexico for tourism, and if you don't have any children traveling with you, you can head all the way to the left, and that's where you will find these kiosks. As you approach the kiosks, you'll notice there usually isn't a very long line here because I don't think a lot of people know they can use them. Double check the sign to make sure you meet all of the criteria. As you enter the line, there'll be a representative there checking your passport, again, to make sure you meet the criteria. Then you're going to head through the gates. So you want to look for a green light over the top of the kiosk. That will let you know that it's ready for a new person to step up. You'll step up and place your passport into the scanner. You want to make sure that your face page, so the page with your, the page with your face on it, is facing where the scanner will scan. It'll read your passport. Then it will give you the green light to step into the first set of doors. You'll stand on the footprints and look into the camera. Be sure to take off your hat and eyeglasses. Then it will read your face. It'll pause for a minute. It will print out a receipt and then will let you out of the doors. The receipt you will need to keep with you until your return. So you will need to show it to get back on your plane back to the U.S. or Canada when you're ready to go home. After clearing immigration, you'll come out to the baggage claim area. This is where you'll claim any of your checked bags. You want to look for nothing to declare, and then you'll walk by people in uniforms. They may ask you questions about if you're bringing in cigarettes or alcohol or any other customs-related items. You'll answer their questions and continue on your way. You'll come out and find the rental car companies. Now we flew in on Delta. So this is the terminal with you land with Delta. And then you'll pass this group of people. This group of people will try to trick you into coming with them. They are timeshare salespeople that rent out this space in the Cancun airport. They'll say things about, oh, who's your transfer with, or take a transfer with us, or set up a tour with us. You just want to keep walking and say, no, thank you towards these doors at the back. Now you can't really tell their doors <laughs> unless you see someone walk through ahead of you, but just keep going. Totally ignore this group of people because your transfer and taxi options are going to be outside. See, this lady got caught up. That guy's trying to trick her. So you're going to keep heading outside. There's desks for some of the major operators, but all of their people are going to be outside. So again, one more time, go all the way outside to find your pre-reserve transfer or a taxi. As you head outside, you'll notice there are some shops, a mini mart, bathrooms, and a Margaritaville bar. And then you'll see a lot of people in different colored shirts holding signs. Just walk around until you find your transfer. Now, the other thing you'll need to do is pay the tax. There's a new visit tax that, well, it's not new. It's been in for a couple of years and you'll want to pay that online prior to your departure or you can do it once you're in destination if you forget. So you're going to make, click make your payment and then you'll put in your departure date. This is the date you are leaving Mexico. The number of people that is traveling together, you're going to click next. Then you're going to put in your name as it appears on your passport and your passport information. Click next. That will summarize everything and tell you the amount you need to pay. This is in Mexican pesos. So confirm that and then you will be taken to the link where you can enter all of your credit card information. Once you make the payment, you'll receive a receipt that will show you the confirmation. You will also get an email in your inbox that will summarize the payment. So head to your email and this is what it will look like within your email. You want to make sure to keep a copy of this because that will show proof that you paid it. And then you also get this QR code that will be scanned as you exit the Cancun airport. 
So those are my tips and tricks for entering the Cancun, Mexico airport. This was current as of May 24th, 2023, but it is always subject to change. Please let me know if you have any questions. Shot of that on your phone.